Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the day, I got a few minutes after tinkering around with a YouTube page. Got some time to work on uh, getting Panther suspension together. Well, at least the control arm. So I'm going to do that real quick. Take it for a test drive. If that checks out good, maybe tomorrow I'll take it down and get the uh, CV axles rebuilt. Or I'll just wait to the end of next week to do that. These new wheels I got won't take my thick walled 19 millimeter doesn't fit in the holes let me go ahead and take these off with the with the T and uh, keep this train rolling well crap I thought the uh, mounts were worn on the frame it's this dang ball joint bolts See how that thing sliding back and forth? So I may just be able to tighten those up and be good to go. Man, I got a bolt missing and a bolt loose. Got one bolt holding at it. Check out how bad this control arm is on this side. When I go to break the lug nut loose, the whole wheel shifts back. Don't know how well you can see that, but man, that is bad. Let me get that replaced. It's the same thing on this side. A very loose one, one almost off, and one almost missing. This is crazy. I never seen like this before. So here I thought. I had worn control arm bushings and the actual problem was my ball joint bolts had backed off. So I should be good to go. Let me put this wheel on, take this thing for a test drive and uh, call it a day. Start driving this thing again every day. From sitting a few weeks, the battery is dead. I put the jump box on it and it fires up. Let me go disconnect the jump box. So Panther is back on the road. Got the control arm secure. The ball joint secured to the control arm. You know that's one thing good about this situation. I have nobody to blame but myself. Servicing your own car is a double-edged sword. If you don't look over it and react to things that you think are going wrong, then you could actually make a mistake and do some serious damage to your vehicle. Uh, example of that was me blowing the cylinder head right after I replaced it. And had I not checked out this suspension when I know it was feeling funny that could have been catastrophic uh, these ball joints had three bolts in them one was gone on each one one was very loose on each one one was a little loose on each one had those last two bolts come out of here this car could have actually had the wheel fall away from the car I'm sure you've seen cars uh, laying on the ground with the front wheel away from the car. It's almost never the back wheel. It's usually the front wheel. Because of the control arm hardware or the control arm ball joint comes apart. And that front wheel falls away from the car. Well, if it does it while you're going 5 miles an hour, may not do too much damage. If it falls off while you're going 60 or 70 miles an hour, you can kiss that car goodbye and hopefully you'll scave the accident. So 
it's good to uh, save a little money, but it uh, could be bad if you don't catch something that's about to go terribly wrong. A lot of people don't like it, but when they take their car for an oil change, most good mechanic shops will look over the car and let you know if you need brakes, if you need control arms, if you need suspension work, and different stuff like that. I just seen a Subaru a little earlier look like it was laying on top of the wheel. The uh, strut assembly went through the top of the frame of the car, knocked the hood up in the air, and the car fell down onto the uh, tire. It's a bad situation. That car could not have been serviced once a year by a mechanic, or a mechanic would have likely caught that stuff. Take your car into a shop, they'll go over it when they're changing the oil, and then they'll take it for a test drive after they do their work, then they'll give you the car back. But, you know, you gotta heed the warning of things going wrong with your car, or let a mechanic that knows about cars check it out once or twice a year. So. It's my two cents. All right, had my pants are running today. Dang, I can't see. That's my trip for the day, 1.3 hours, which means that's how long the car was running. So I went from a dead battery to my battery should now be charged up and good for the next few days. I don't know if you can see that, but it says right now, it's got 12.5 volts, 12.6 volts, so should be good to go. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.